Okay, we are going to make an optical illusion sphere. So use whatever materials that you have available. Um, any piece of paper, use a pencil, a Sharpie, anything that you have. If you have a ruler, I would use that. If not, you're just gonna need like the side, uh, a straight edge, maybe the side of a paper or a notebook or something like that, okay? And find something round to trace around, okay? Um, so that could be a lid to a yogurt container or something, okay? I'm just using this tape here. So on my piece of paper, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to trace around my circle. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to make a series of lines. I'm just kind of eyeballing this a little bit. If you would actually like to measure it out, you can. But I'm going to do these. I'm going to create a line. And I'm trying to make them even, but I know if you don't have a ruler at home, that can be hard to do. So when I get to the circle, notice that I go, I stop my line and continue. So I go under, behind the circle, if you will. Okay. So I'm going to do that all the way down on my piece of paper. If you don't have a small piece of paper like mine, um, just draw out an area. So if you're going to say, okay, this is the area that I'm going to draw on, you can draw that out. Okay. So behind the circle. And it is important that we don't make these too wide. Otherwise, we're not going to get as cool of an, an optical illusion effect. Okay, so now, after that one got a little uneven at the bottom there, that's okay. So now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna have our lines going the other direction. So now it's gonna kind of start to create a checkerboard. Once again, when I get behind, or I get to my circle, I'm gonna overlap behind it. And like I said, if this matters to you to be perfect, measure out, kind of like we create a grid during our grid drawings. All right. And then I'm just gonna finish that up. Okay, so now I have all of these lines here. So in order to make this look more three-dimensional, what I am going to do is I'm first going to take this line and connect it to this line by curving it so that it matches this half, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing with this line, curving it so it matches down here. This line here is actually gonna go straight down the middle so I can just line up my ruler if I need to. Then I'm gonna do the same thing over here to the other side, except they're gonna curve the opposite way. So this line curves and connects down to that one. This one curves and connects and matches with this line. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with these lines, okay? So I have a really tiny line that matches up here. So we're gonna have a curved line, but notice it's super skinny. Then I'm gonna have another curved line. Okay, and it's important that these are curved enough with the outside of the circle. Okay, so this one's going to be curved again. And then this one is going to be my one that goes straight across. Okay, so now since I'm on this second half, these lines are gonna curve down. This will be another little one. Okay, so now we are ready to rock and roll. So what you're going to do, uh, I'm gonna use a Sharpie now for this part, use whatever you have. I'm going to fill this in like a checkerboard and you can use any color for this, okay? 
and you didn't, don't even have to do it a solid color, okay? You might want to, instead of having black and white, you might wanna have blue and yellow, I don't care. All right, so just make sure to match up the corners. I'm gonna speed this part up so you can just kinda see this come together. Okay, so I'll finish filling these in later, but I just kind of wanted to show you how that would start to look. So it's starting to come together. You can tell that when I do that, it doesn't make it look entirely finished, but we're starting to get that optical illusion. Now, if you want to emphasize that even more, one thing that you can do is you can take a pencil and lightly underneath start to create a little shadow. And I'm just going very lightly with a pencil here underneath this circle. Keeping that pencil mark close together. Then if I wanna smooth that in a little bit, I can take my finger getting a little texture here. There we go. And one other thing you can do too is kind of come around where that circle line is if you want to emphasize that circle a bit more. Okay. Um, then you can continue to kind of bring up a little bit of that shadow on here if you want to, but just on the spheres part, not the background, okay? Then if you have a white colored pencil at home, um, one thing you can do too is you can actually go over with the white colored pencil very lightly to kind of create some highlight areas and then really rub your finger over top. And it's gonna kinda create some highlight areas. So I can do that on a few of them just to kinda give us the look of more of a three dimensional optical illusion, okay? So do your best to fill that in to create and remember, you can always go in and add some different colors and stuff too. Um, sometimes it's cool to actually go in and create a different background effect. It's, it's awesome to see how different when something isn't left white, how that can look. So if I filled in all of those white spaces with that, um, it's gonna have an entirely different look to it.